AB Calculus, note card 69, area between curves. This is the 69th video lesson in the series inspired by Stacy McMullen, formerly of the Dallas Independent School District, who developed the note card system. If functions f and g are continuous on the closed interval from a to b, and g of x is less than or equal to f of x, bounded by vertical lines x equals a and x equals b, then the area is found by this integral here. The integral from a to b of quantity f of x minus g of x dx. And we're going to go ahead and follow these five steps here. And I'm going to use an f of x and g of x function to demonstrate what's going on here. Okay, to find the area, we take, okay, we got an x, y here. We have a function here that is going to be f of x top g of x down below. And then we're going to have an input value of a, an input value of b. And so we draw a vertical line up here from a and also from b. And what we're interested in is the area between these two curves. And that area will be found, this, this integral right here, is the one that will give us this area that is hashed in. So let's go ahead and look at problem number one. Find the area of the region of the first quadrant is enclosed by the graphs of y equals x cubed plus 8 and y equals x plus 8. So I'm going to first draw a graph of these. So we have, I'm going to draw the, the cubic parent function y equals x cubed. I'm going to see if I can get it all in one fell swoop here. Yeah, I hope you're going to see why soon. Okay. And this is going to be the function y equals x. But we have y equals x plus 8 is really what we're interested in. So I'm going to move this up here and change this y equals x plus 8. And similarly, we have uh, y equals x plus 8. Oh, by the way, that one on top is y equals x cubed plus 8. So now we have y equals x plus 8. That's right here. And we're going to move it up here. Okay. So that's going to be y equals x plus 8. So we got x coordinate, y coordinate. Okay, we're interested in the first quadrant, this hashed in piece here. And the upper function is going to be this linear function. So we're going to call this uh, f of x. And we're going to call this y equals x cubed plus 8. We're going to call this g of x. And now we need to find the limits of integration. We already know that we have 0. So we're going to set these two functions equal to each other. So we have x cubed plus 8 is equal to x plus 8. And solving, if we subtract 2 from both sides of the equation, we have x cubed equals x. And now subtracting x, we have x cubed minus x is equal to 0. And factoring out an x, we have x times quantity x squared minus 1 equals 0. So we have x is equal to 0. And also x is equal to plus or minus 1. And we can see pretty much from here. So we are interested in the area between 0 
and we call that the a value, the lower limit, and then one we'll call b. All right, so now let's set that up. So area is equal to the integral from zero to one of f of x. Well, that's going to be x plus eight minus g of x, which is going to be x cubed plus eight. And that's going to be dx. And what we have here is the, to simplify, the eight minus eight will cancel each other. So we're going to have the area from zero to one of x minus x cubed dx. And integrating, we're going to have x squared over 2 minus x to the fourth power over 4 evaluated from 0 to 1. So what we're going to have is the big F of, of B minus big F of A using the fundamental theorem of calculus. So plugging in 1, we're going to have 1 squared over 2 minus 1 to the fourth power over 2. And that's going to be our f of b, and our f of a is going to be 0 to the power of 2 over 2 minus 0 to the power of 4 over 4. Okay, so that's going to be this. There's another little error I made. It's going to be 1 over 4. And working to the right, we see that these zeros in the numerator, that will make this whole f of a equal to zero. So what we have is one-half minus one-fourth equals one-fourth. So our area between these two curves is one-fourth. Now, one thing that can happen to you is that you can work this out and get a negative sign because you didn't put the, you subtracted the wrong thing from the, from the wrong thing. And so if that should ever happen and you find yourself with a negative number, you can make things right with absolute value brackets and uh, so you don't have to redo your work on the free response section of the test. Next, two, the area of the region bounded by the lines x equals 0, x equals 2, and y equals 0, and the curve y equals x d to the power of x over 2 is. So we go ahead and draw our little sketch, our x, y coordinate plane. And we have, we're going between 0, x equals 0, and x equals 2. And we have e to the x over 2. So that's going to be our f of x, because that's our upper function. And then we have y equals 0. So y equals 0 is our g of x, okay, which is 0. Of x, and f of x equals e to the x over 2. So now let's work this out. And conceptually, what we're going to have is this hashed in area here. And I happen to know that our y intercept is going to be 1. So let's work that out. Our area between curves is the integral from 0 to 2 
of f of x, which is e to the x over 2 minus g of x, and that's going to be dx. <clears throat> this zero is going to amount to nothing, so we're, we're, we're really interested in alone this e to the x over 2. What we have is not having a plain e to the x function. We're going to do a u substitution. So we're going to let, let u equal e to the, nope. We're going to let u equal x over 2. So du is equal to du over 2, or dx over 2. And so dx is equal to 2 du. So now we're going to substitute in everything we can. So we're going to have e to the u times 2, I'll put this 2 out front, to du. And we're going to go ahead and change our limits of integration. So if x is equal to 0, u is equal to 0 over 2, which is equal to 0. So our lower limit of integration it remains 0. And secondly, if x is equal to 2, as in our original integral, u is equal to 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. So 1 is our upper limit of integration. So working below, we have 2 e to the u because the integral of e to the u is e to the u, and we're evaluating between 0 and 1. And working to the right, we're going to have 2e to the 1 power. That's going to be our big F of b. And we're going to have minus 2e to the 0 power. That's going to be big F of a. So we're subtracting those. And work to the right, we're going to get 2e, and then e to the 0 power is 1. So we're going to get minus 2. And that's going to be our answer here. And not, too, not too difficult. OK, last one we're going to work on is a graph and calculator problem. Find the area of R, the region of the first quadrant. It's been closed by the graphs of f of x equals 1 plus sine 2x, and g of x equals e to the x over 2. Well, I don't know pretty much what sine, the sine function looks like, but we're going to be raised 1, and then we have g of x equals that. So I'm not exactly sure what our limits of integration are going to be for these curves. Now, if things go according to plan, our f of x is going to be our larger value. So we'd have 1 minus sine 2x minus e to the x or 2. But where do they intersect? That's why we have our calculator and just calculate a problem. I've already pre-entered f of x equals 1 plus sine 2x. And so we have this right here. And I'm going to enter likewise e to the power of x over 2. So we're going to be 
it looks like from zero to one maybe this little piece here from zero to one let's check it out i'm going to i'm going to verify both intersection points menu analyze graph intersection so i come to the left here come to the right so we have intersection at zero comma one i'm going to look for the other intersection point which is going to be menu analyze graph intersection so i go there and there so i have 1.14 okay and we want to have at least three decimal places here so what i'm going to do is put the hand over that 1.14 so it's gray do you see that i'm going to press the plus sign and get more decimal places and I like to, when I'm doing things this way, get out to five decimal places. And the reason I do is because the AP standards are to have a three decimal place accurate answer. And when this 1.13569 is a preliminary, I want to make sure I get this, get this right, get enough accuracy. 1.13569. And for extra measure, those last two digits were two five. So we see, I hope we see, that our upper function is in fact the sine function, this blue one, and the lower function this is going to be the exponential function, y equals e to the x over two. So let's go ahead and work this out. Okay, our area is equal to, we're going to have the integral from 0 to 1.13569.25 of f of x, which is going to be 1 plus sine 2x minus e to the x over 2. And this is all going to be dx. All right, everything looks good there. So let's go to our graphing calculator. And for that, I'm going to get a uh, regular calculator page, control I, add calculator. We have a trigonometric function here with that sign, so that's going to be a radian. We need radians, and we have our function in radians. So let's go ahead and find the integral. Our hot key, we press shift plus, and we're going to go from zero to one point one three. Let me make sure I get this right. Oops. So I'll just go over here. Oops. Control. Now I gotta go back. There we go. One point one three five six nine. Okay, we'll go back. One point one three five six nine and put two five for extra measure and we're going to have one and make sure i get this right plus sine two x and we're going to subtract out e to the power of x over 2. And we go dx here. And there we have it. Answer is 0 0.429101. And we're going to do these three decimal places.
make sure we get this right here. Yeah, that's right. So this is going to be our answer here to three decimal places. I hope you get a feel here for what finding the area between curves is like and that it has been useful to you. Good luck and thanks for viewing.